Good afternoon, manufacturing pros, and welcome to another episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, we are going to discuss why to use smart sensors with I.O. Link to improve productivity and eliminate downtime. I'm your host, Chris Lukey, and I'm joined again today by my Components Area Manager, Steve Parkhill. Welcome to the show, Steve. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Cheers. So, Steve, I kick things off by making a little bit of a hefty promise, saying that we'll eliminate downtime, improve efficiency. How do we go about doing that using smart sensors with I.O. Link? Well, there's all kinds of examples I can talk about, but in the three minute time period we have today, um, what I'll do is I'll walk you through some specific examples. Mm -hmm. The first of which involves our photo eyes. Uh, imagine you have an application, perhaps a conveyor system, where this photo eye happens to reside in a dusty or dirty environment. Mm -hmm. Over time, if that lens gets dirty enough, it'll just stop working. The result of that could mean the machine crashes and perhaps some downtime. Mm -hmm. With IO Link, what we're able to do is we're actually able to send margin data back to a controller to preemptively notify an operator that that lens is starting to get dirty and effectively prevent that downtime from occurring altogether. Sure. So that's scenario number one. Scenario number two would look like perhaps you have a, a sensor that required some teaching, right? Right out of the box, had to show it the, the target, the background, and it was set up just the way the OEM wanted it. Uh, but then something happens and that sensor breaks. Traditionally, you have to go dig out the user manual, figure out the process to reteach the sensor, and it could create you know, a longer extended period of downtime. Mm -hmm. With IO Link, we have a feature called automatic device configuration, whereby the teach function is actually stored back in the controller. So now, all I have to do is remove the broken sensor, find a brand new one, plug it in, configuration downloads right from the controller. And those are two very tangible examples. I guess I'd be curious to know what can Rockwell Automation do and Alan Bradley provide in terms of their smart sensor offering? So there's a couple things I would mention. Uh, number one, Rockwell Automation has made a conscious decision not to add any cost to our IO Link enabled sensors. The catalog numbers are identical to what they've always been. Um, the difference is we just did a series change and now you have all of this diagnostic capability. Um, in addition to that, the other thing I would say is there's some cost savings opportunities as it relates to analog sensors. So if I could give you a scenario where perhaps you're using four laser measurement sensors, uh, those are tied back to um, an IO Link master of some kind, or I'm sorry, an, an analog card. Um, if you were to go to that IO Link uh, solution, what you would find is number one, you'd save money on from going from an analog input card to an IO Link master. And you also save money on the connection media that you're using because with IO Link, instead of sending an analog signal, you're actually dealing with serial data, uh, which doesn't require a shielded cable. Uh, in that particular scenario, you could save about 33% of your cost. Uh, finally, the reason Alan Brad the Allen Bradley solution is unique is because we're one of the few IO Link uh, consortium participants that actually offers a full solution. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is we have IO Link enabled sensors, the IO Link masters, and then within our profile or within our controller, we have add on profiles. What that gets you is premier integration mm -hmm. and extreme, uh, an extreme level of ease when it comes to actually programming and setting up your sensors. Steve, that was an excellent overview of a handful of reasons as to why to use smart sensors. Um, for those of you out there that are more interested in some of the information on the how behind that, um, I'd recommend that you check out a PDF document that we've attached to this uh, on integrated smart sensors uh, for more information, or Steve and I are happy to come out and meet with you to talk about this further. Uh, in the meantime, thanks so much for joining us today. Stay innovative, stay thirsty, cheers. Cheers. And we will see you back here soon.